Hi everyone, it's Suki here and welcome to the Fashion Notebook. So today, as seen from the title, I am going to do a second massive haul to finish off my collective haul since as I've said in my previous video, if you haven't checked out my first collective haul, I'll put a card right here because I feel like you should watch that first and then just come back to watch the second one. And as I said in the previous video, I have been gone off YouTube for a while and I am a super, super shopaholic. I'm not even going to deny that. So I've been like buying clothes continuously and I just haven't been keeping you guys updated on my brand new wardrobe. I kind of just constituted this whole new wardrobe for the UK. Therefore, I'm showing all the new clothes that I bought throughout the period where I'm gone from YouTube and one video which really wasn't enough. So this is my second one. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with tops. So the first one is the one I'm wearing right now. This is a bodysuit from Brandy Melville. And this actually fits really tightly since Brandy Melville is one size and I think it's really for like more of, more of the slimmer girls therefore um, it's quite tight but I quite like the fit of it okay so the second top I got is actually a t-shirt from Stussy this I got from a vintage store and I've mentioned this vintage store before it's called Volgar I kind of gave them a shot in my, in my previous um, collective haul video which I've already put a card up here so go check it out if you want to um, know more information about them I think I got it for 22 pounds ish and I think it's a great deal for a Stussy tee I love the color I think it's just a good throw on I wear it to sleep I wear it to go out it's just a nice like pajamas but you can also wear it out top next t-shirt I got is Bershka. I got it during Black Friday because it's a while but I feel like I have to show you guys since um, it's so cute. So it is the Arreo I think. I don't know how to pronounce the name of this because I normally wash the Cantonese version and it's called Siu Wan in Cantonese but um, it's so cute. There's just It's just a graphic tee and I'm really obsessed with graphic tee right now i love like tees that has like quirky and funky prints on next going on with the gray t-shirt theme i got this from urban outfitters it was actually gifted for me from um my best friends which i am super grateful for and it is just so cute i love this top so much i've always wanted a sonic youth top for ages and i just never got my hand into it because i don't know if i should spend my money on it or no i always just debate and just ending up not buying it but my best friends are they're just so nice they know i really wanted it for a long time and they kind of surprised me and bought this for my birthday which i am as i said i'm really grateful for okay the last gray top that i've got is from brandy melville this looks really similar to another polo um crop top that i bought from brandy melville i've also talked through in my last collective haul but this one is just long sleeves and um it's just pretty much identical to the other one but it's just a bit it's just ripped and long sleeves and gray yeah and then I got some oversized sweaters as well this one I got from Japan during Christmas yes it's a while ago I'm really sorry and I got it from a street store in Harajuku called Wego. I think it is quite a chain store it's quite popular all over Japan and they sell kind of like um Fila, Champion, and just really nice youthful high street brands for quite a cheap price. So I picked up this white oversized sweater that I like to wear as like a dress kind of thing. And I really like the side sleeve detailing that says Fila because Fila is super trendy right now and it just looks super, super street style, super nice. And it is authentic Fila as you can tell. Um, last sweater is from Nike and I got this from an outlet store but it wasn't on sale. I don't think it was. It was just exclusive in the outlet store. And what caught my attention to this is the back. It's just really nice. And recently, I think Harry Kane posted an Instagram post and his caption is so similar to the writing here. Okay, and then the next thing I'm gonna show you is something that I really, really love. I just wear this so much whenever I don't know what to wear. This is just my to-go option. It is another Fila um, oversized. I don't even know what is this. This is like a, it's not really a sweater because it has like a waterproof material, but it's just a really oversized kind of like 
um, piece, I don't know what to call it, half zip piece with the pocket here, which is really cool. I got this from Harajuku as well in Japan, but not in Wego, just a random store. I got it for around 50 pounds, which is quite a nice deal for a Fila oversized outerwear and it is also really good quality which I love and then I actually have another t-shirt that I didn't know I, it was like hiding in my bunch of clothes and I found it so I bought this t-shirt from Adidas a few moments later lost for words brain fart brain fart more moments later outlet right I got this t-shirt from the Adidas outlet in Japan as well and it is super cheap I think I got it for like 10 pounds I don't even know it's just such a good deal so yeah I just picked this up I love this two pieces okay next I also bought an oversized hoodie also in the um, Adidas outlet in Japan this is just a really basic um, oversized hoodie that you kind of just see everywhere and I've never got my hand into it. I feel like the material is really nice. Even if I don't wear it after I got it, I can give it to my friends or something. So yeah, I just like to lounge around in this and it's just a nice fit. It's a great piece, love it. Okay, now on to bottoms. So I have two pairs of trousers that I want to show you. The first one is this, oh my god, this is so gorgeous. This is a super gorgeous silky, I think this is called Addy Break track pants that has the buttons all over it where you can unbutton it and just this detailing is my favorite part of it, it's just really nice really the um, signature three stripes on the side and it's just a really good fit, I love this um, I actually don't really wear this because I kind of look like a karate kid when I wear it but I just adore the color I am selling this on Depop as well as the Adidas hoodie because even though I love it so much, I don't really see myself wearing it all the time so I feel like it's better to give it out to someone who could give it more, give more love to the clothing so yeah, just check out my Depop if you want this, I'm selling it for quite a reasonable price so yeah okay and then i also got this cargo pants from misguided sample sale that happened in my university a few weeks ago so i got this for seven pounds which is a steal to be honest that was mainly why i got it not because i like it which like it's just very sad when i see it but i can see myself wearing this to clubbing and i think it just looks good with this um, bodysuit as well because this camel print right now is really trendy as well and camel print with cargo pants together is like the ultimate combination so I just really really like this and I can't wait to wear it to go clubbing okay, the last bottom piece that I got recently is actually what I'm wearing right now it is this um, Nova Check uh, pleated skirt that looks like that you'll see it better in the try on session but i got this from depop and i absolutely love it even though the quality is not the best but i just got it for like 14 pounds so i'm not really expecting much but it's just really pretty i also have an outerwear to show you guys which is something that i actually really really love and i wish i have more chance to wear it but then since it's been quite cold in the uk recently except for yesterday yesterday was like blooming hot like it was literally like summer in Hong Kong but just that one day but normally I just it's just not warm enough to wear it so it is just this long full-length double-breasted I think this is yeah double-breasted blazer and oh my god this is so pretty I got it from Monkey for around 60 pounds even though it's quite more pricey side I guess you can't say it's like expensive but it's more on the pricey side I think it's definitely worth it the material is so nice and it's just it looks expensive to me I got it in a size small, it's just, it has this oversized look to it as well, but it doesn't swallow you up, which is good. Last but definitely not least is a dress. I rarely wear dresses and I just saw this in Bershka. It wasn't on sale, I was just scrolling through the website and I saw this and I think it looks so pretty and it was on like a, it wasn't like a reasonable price so it doesn't really matter if it wasn't on sale. Normally I gravitate towards the sale section but this dress is just so pretty that I just couldn't say no to. It is this like peasant cut dress with the cinch in detail right in the middle of this dress which I think is so flattering and trendy right now and I see a lot of Instagram model wearing it, wearing something quite similar to this 
and I love it. I got this in a size small, which I think size extra small would fit me better, but it still fits me good and I'm not gonna return it because I'm not bothered to. But I just feel like I need a dress for some special occasions and since I'm going to Croatia during Easter, I feel like there's just some chance to wear it when I wanna dress up a bit. So that's it guys with my second part, that's four, second part of my collective try on haul. I think that is everything I've bought after I've disappeared from YouTube for like two months, one month. Yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this haul and I hope it have given you some inspiration on what's in trend this season and give it a thumbs up if you want to see more hauls in the future because I will keep on shopping and I'll keep on collecting more and more clothes to show you and I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!